Hello everyone. I hope you're doing great. Our lesson today is Project Part 2 from Module 3. As always, we begin our lesson with the learning objective. Our learning objective for today is Write a text message to a friend asking for advice. Get ready and open your student's book page 37. Then, open your workbook page 30. As you can see, our lesson today is writing. And as you all know, there are certain steps you should follow in order to produce a good piece of writing. I'd like you to take a minute and think about these writing steps. Great! We have planning, organizing, writing, revising, and editing. Let's begin with the first step, which is planning. In this stage, you're thinking of your topic. In other words, you're brainstorming ideas and recalling its features. Let's brainstorm ideas about the most important parts of a text message in which you're asking your friend for help. You guys are amazing. First, you say your name and who you are writing to. Then, you explain your problem. After that, you ask for help. Now imagine it's you who's giving the advice. How do you plan your text message? Yes. First, you say your name and who you are writing to. Then, you give advice. By now, I know you've got many ideas in your brains. So, let's move to our next step of writing, which is organizing. In this stage, I'd like you to grab your pencil, open your copybook, and answer the coming questions. What's your name and who are you writing to? What's your problem? What happened and when did it happen? How could you ask for help? Now, in case you're replying to a friend who's asking for advice, you should answer the following questions. What's your name and who are you writing to? What can you advise your friend? How can you encourage your friend? Now pause and write. Having finished the planning and organizing, let's move to the writing step. In this stage, you're going to write a first draft. Remember to write full sentences and paragraphs. Ready? Let's go. Write a text message to a friend asking for advice and then write the reply of your friend. You guys are the best. Let's read your message together. Hi, Noura. My friend who likes to eat pizza always takes my pencils, but she never asks me first. 
she took my red pencil it's broken now last week can you help me now let's read together your friend's reply hi nadia i understand your problem i think you should talk to your friend tell her to ask you before she borrows your pencils don't worry nadia it's going to be all right having finished writing your first draft let's move to revising in this stage you're going to improve your first draft We're going to use the DARE strategy to do this. But first, let's take a minute and think, what do the letters in this word stand for? The D stands for great, for delete. Here, you have to delete any unimportant information. The A, yes, the A stands for add, add details and linking sentences. The R stands for rearrange, stick to the topic and have a logical order. The E stands for very good, the E stands for exchange. Exchange words for stronger ones. Read and try to delete anything which is irrelevant to the topic. Very good. You can delete. Who likes to eat pizza? Now let's see if we can add any more information. Great! You can add a sentence, an expression, or a phrase such as, I'm in trouble to tell your friend that you're having a problem. Having finished deleting and adding, Let's see if you can rearrange any of your sentences to make them more effective. Yes, you can replace the time expression last week into a more logical place, which is before the sentence, she took my red pencil. The sentence becomes, last week, she took my red pencil. You're doing great so far. You finished the D, A, and R. Let's move to the E and see if you can substitute any words, phrases, or sentences. Let's substitute the word first with before or after. As you all know, we use before and after to talk about the order of events. Let's see an example. Number one, you need to use after. The sentence becomes, the jacket was worse after I washed it. It's your turn now, pause and do the rest. Back again. Take a minute and check your answers. Well done, boys and girls. I'd like you now to exchange. Can you help me? To do this, go back to your student's book, page 37, writing tip. Fabulous! You can substitute 
Can you help me? With what should I do? Now I'd like you to do the same with this expression. This time, refer to the second section of the writing tip. Pretty easy, right? You can substitute it with cheer up. Let's now move to editing. In order to edit, you have to correct any spelling, punctuation, and organization mistakes. The COPS can help you to edit. The letter C in COPS stands for Very Good Capitalization. Here, you have to capitalize proper nouns, I, and sentences beginnings. The O in COPS stands for organization. Use neat handwriting, words spacing, and complete sentences. The P in COPS stands for punctuation. Use punctuation marks such as periods and question marks. The S in COPS stands for very good spelling. Spell your words correctly. I'd like you to pause, read and edit. Back again. Let's check. You capitalized the N in Nora because it's a name. You left a space between the two words asks and me. You substituted the period in the question what should I do with a question mark. And finally, you spelled the word week correctly. Nice work, everyone. Having finished editing, I'd like you to create a clean final copy of your writing and share it with us. Back again, let's check. What a lovely work. Let me now give you some feedback about your writing. To do this, I'm going to use two stars to tell you two things you were very good at. In the wish box, I'm going to tell you one thing you need to improve. The first star is for the good organization of your ideas. The other one is for knowing when to use before and after. My wish for you is it would be great if you could practice revising more frequently. You were amazing today. Thank you so much. Bye.